A member of the Michigan State football team has been charged with sex assault. Austin Robertson, a 19-year-old defensive end, is charged with one count of criminal sexual conduct. This charge comes as three other players are under investigation in a separate sex assault case. Jason Colthorpe is in East Lansing tonight. And Jason, has the coach said anything about this so far? He did. In fact, uh, Kim, head coach Mark D'Antonio released a statement just a few moments ago, and I want to read you the most important part of it. While there is an ongoing criminal process, we're extremely disappointed that Austin put himself in this position. He is no longer a member of our football team. Now, sometimes coaches in these situations will let the legal process play out before taking action on a player, but Robertson was a controversial recruit from the get-go, having been arrested in high school last year. MSU freshman defensive lineman Austin Robertson facing charges he raped a woman. The Lansing State Journal reporting police testified Robertson walked a woman to her apartment the night of April 8th, raped her, then told her not to say anything about it. Robertson's problems go back to high school, though, when he was arrested in 2016 for unwanted touching of an underage girl. No conviction because he completed a diversionary program March 22nd, 17 days before this incident. What we don't really know is this one bad apple, a few bad apples. What is this? How, how deeply ingrained is their trouble? With three other players being investigated for rape, it's cast a large shadow over the football program. It's damaged the perception of the program, the uh, perception of D'Antonio, and, and those are things that, you know, that you can only fix by being truthful, by being transparent, and then winning. It definitely makes you want to have a conversation with your children. Susan Ostreich's daughter is considering MSU and feels the university needs to do more. Recently, with these stories coming to light, I would hope that schools take more action and take it a little more seriously. Now, uh, as for arraignment, and going back to Mark D'Antonio's statement just briefly, uh, the reason he Robertson didn't get the benefit of the doubt is there were specific requirements and prerequisites set in place with him as a member of this football team since he got here. And he hasn't been arraigned yet. Uh, the Ingham County Prosecutor's Office expects him to turn himself in within the next couple of days. They believe he's gone home to Fort Wayne, Indiana. And again, Austin Robertson, dismissed from the Michigan State football team. Live in East Lansing tonight, Jason Coulter, Local 4. So, Jason, I understand it's a separate investigation, but what about those other three players that are being investigated? Any word on where that stands right now? Yeah, that would actually happen before this one. So the prosecution and investigators have had more time. That's one incident that involved three players. It's an alleged rape accusation. And uh, the prosecutor's office has the case, and as of last check today, uh, had received all the information it requested at this point, just waiting to make a decision could come any day now. Okay. Kim. All right, Jason, thanks.